What's up, everybody? Richard back today with another reaction video. Today, we're checking out the band Kingsman and their track, Trial by Fire. Now, I know these guys. I know Tim. Uh, Tim is the guy who I know the most out of any of these guys in this band. He's the guitar player. They're from my neck of the woods. I'm in New Hampshire. They are uh, located in Rhode Island, which is about a two-hour drive. Uh, you know, Rhode Island's like this big. So, I um, mean, uh, really, all the states in the Northeast are about this big or this big. So, uh, there's really not a whole lot of uh, time in between. But uh, I have, yeah, I've played shows with these guys. I believe I played one show, one or two shows with these guys uh, back in my days with True Shot. And um, I know they're taking a little bit of a different direction here. So I'm very curious to see where they go compared to their uh, their last album. Um, a little bit more metalcore. I'm curious if they're, gonna, if they're staying in that realm, but kind of going a little bit of a different direction or if they're tro totally changing things up. But let's check it out. Here we go. This is Kingsman Trial by... Yeah, different. Our heroes are missing. We're close to the end. Interesting. Right, so that was Kingsman Trial by Fire. So yeah, definitely a different direction for these guys uh, compared to their last record. To me, this sounds a lot like um, 
you know, like those bands from like the early to mid 2000s that now today in 2022, we've kind of kind of retconned a little bit as new metal bands, like a Breaking Benjamin. Like for some reason, I know that Breaking Benjamin kind of gets considered to be like a new metal band these days, but I never really looked at them that way. Um, but I guess like they're closer to that than like hard rock. So like, this is like exactly what this reminds me of. Like it's kind of in between there, but it's definitely has like that arena sound. You definitely have that, that, that really big catchy hook, which I do think that they did a really nice job with. And you have that main riff, which is acting as the instrumental hook, of course. And, um, I think for what they're doing, man, I think it really, they really sound very, very good. Adam, the vocalist who I've talked to on a few occasions, I don't really know him that well, but, uh, you know, great guy. I and mean, he's a great voice. And, uh, it was really cool to see him showcase that more here. Guy's also a great screamer. We kind of had a little bit of that in here as well, but I really got a lot of breaking Benjamin vibes from this one for sure. Uh, again, is it something that I, uh, you know, do I put, go in the car and, and throw on Diary of Jane? I mean, hey, listen, sometimes, okay. I mean, listen, I mean, well, who doesn't? But I like again, I, I kind of, I kind of just tend towards the more aggressive, harder stuff. But this right here, though, like they do a real like the the thing is with this style of music is that if you don't have a hook, you are screwed because like that is what a lot of this relies on. As you heard with this track, it's very vocally focused. And they delivered. So you can't fault them for that. Again, it's just going to be stylistic, but you cannot listen to this song objectively and be like, yeah, that's a bad song. You'd be saying that because it's not your style, but this is a very well-written, well-produced track. So I give them credit for that. And I'll throw it on my playlist because I think this is a nice change of pace. And I think that, again, this is not a, a bad song for this style of music. So with that, guys, if you want to check me out on social media, check out my Twitch, Patreon, playlist, uh, merch, uh, uh, this video. I don't even. There's a bunch of links down there. Okay, just go, just go, just go do some exploring. Okay, till the next one. Peace.